Hello, it's John Bona with the Story of Liberty. In the 16th century, Reformation began outside of Germany. A man named Ulrich Zwingli, he led the Reformation movement in the northern part of Switzerland. He was born in 1484 and educated at the University of Vienna. He became more and more convinced that the church had different teachings than what scripture said. He began reading many of the books of the early church fathers, such as John Wycliffe and John Huss. And in 1506, he was invited to become a preacher in Zurich, and he accepted the position on the terms and conditions that he would be free to preach the pure gospel of Christ. Great crowds came to hear his sermons, and from all sides of the city, people were delighted, and the comments were made, such preaching we greatly need. He tells us the way of salvation. A plague came to that city one day, and 2,500 people died out of a population of 17,000. But Zwingli would not go away. He visited the stricken families, and he comforted the dying. And he himself fell victim to the plague and suffered for months. He wrote a Christian song to commemorate the event. Zurich was divided between Catholics and Protestants, and many favored Zwingli's preaching and teaching, and his influence became widespread. He was in a debate one day with Martin Luther. They had different theologies, but they were friends. And he said with tears in his eyes, there's no people on earth with whom I'd rather be in harmony than the Wittenbergs. Of course, he was referring to the followers of Martin Luther. But Switzerland remained a divided country. Catholics on one side, Protestants on the other, and troubles began. Persecution broke out, civil war in effect, and an army of 8,000 Catholics invaded Zurich, and Zwingli was part of a small army of 2,700. Zwingli himself was killed in the battle. He was wounded and eventually died. They took his body and quartered it, brought it according to the law of the empire, Zwingli was only 47 years of age, and his death was a cause of intense grief to his followers. Martin Luther, his friend, was deeply shocked. But before many years had passed, the Reformed faith had made remarkable progress, not only in Germany, but also in the French and Swiss areas. Zwingli was... Truly a man of God, a man of faith, and part of the Reformation movement.